Okay, standard carbon wheel and hub uh, with cassette. Uh, in this case, this is a steel Campag cassette. Um, this is our metal detector. We'll run this over the hub. We're getting a reading of about 50 just anywhere, just in, in the air. Um, it rises up a little bit as we pass it over the, the metal cassette as we'd expect. Okay, so slight reading, I'm about 10 millimeters from the axle, slightly less, and we're getting a reading going up about between five and 10. Nothing major, you'd expect that. Okay, I'm gonna take the cassette off. Inside is just a standard um, hub with sealed bearing inside and a hollow axle, typical of a quick release hub. Here is a rare earth magnet. This has a pull of about, about half a kilo. So that means it could lift half a kilo attached to it. So pretty weak, kind of like a, a stronger fridge magnet, stronger than the, the previous video. Okay, I'm gonna stick this inside the free hub body. This is in no way realistic of how many magnets you would need for a, an actual motor in a hub, but it's the smallest rare earth magnet I've got that will fit in a hub. Okay, just to see if the detector can pick this up. Uh, as I said, it was 50, uh, 50 reading in the room. As we get near, I'm about 20 millimetres away. Uh, yeah, about 10, 10 to 20 centimetres away. This is about 10 away. So you can see it's easily detecting a difference there, easily. We're getting a reading of 100 and I'm still... 50 millimeters away from the actual magnet. Okay. Replace the cassette. The magnet's still in there. Replace the cassette. Okay. It's not quite in its final position because the magnet's blocking it. I'll spin it around so I don't actually know where that magnet is. Okay. Take our detector. Without the wheel there, normal reading, 45. We'll start passing it, passing it over the hub. As you can see, easily getting a reading into the red, easily. I'm still 50 millimeters from that, that hub. Take it around this side. Not so strong, but still getting a reading. Take it from this side. Well, that's obviously where the magnet is on this side, but it's picking it up from all sides. I'll just spin the wheel round. Not that you'd really be checking it from this side, but um, even there we get a slight reading, but that's as close as I can get. Okay, spin it round. Check it again. So I'm trying to show you how far away I am from the from the hub there's the hub there's the hub there okay and that's when I pass over the top of the magnet take the cassette off there's the magnet stuck to the um, to the bearing I'll take that magnet off Okay, no bearing there, no bearing inside. Put this back on. Take our scanner. Try and get a reading near 100. I can get a reading near 100 if I touch, touch the cassette. That's actually touching the iPad. As soon as I drop 50 millimeters away, I'm not getting any reading. I'll go all the way around, spin the wheel around. 
so I'm not able to get it into the red unless I physically touch the metal with the iPad in which case a test would be void anyway so there you go magnet inside a hub still detectable